Well, good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Uh, right, it's a lovely, well, there you are, a lovely Friday morning here uh, at the studio. The sun's out for a change. Isn't that incredible, considering it has been storm force, gale winds, uh, and horrendous rain for the last three or four days. Uh, we had a pretty phenomenal live on Wednesday. Uh, we haven't seen the painting yet. I can see it just out of the corner of my eye. Uh, AD and I both microphoned up. Yep. <laughs> there you go, there he is. Would you like to have a look at it? Would you like, of course you'd like to have a look at it. Are you ready? Let's go. Boom. Okay, there we are folks. Now, first time we're seeing it as well. Well, number one, it has held its shape. Number two, actually that has dried better than I thought it has. I thought it'd be a really mega glossy, mate, but actually mm, it's not. I'm really quite pleased with that. It's almost satin, yes, semi-sheen, yeah. yeah, with a couple of gloss areas in it. Yeah, you're right. Now that is interesting. Right, where should we start? Well, I guess let's start around this side because uh, this is where I began on the broadcast. Now, if you haven't seen it, I'll pop a link down below. It was a particularly good one. Everybody enjoyed it. Let's see if we can give you some of the close-ups and some of the features that are going on here. I think to me one of the one of the standouts uh, was the copper. Now I opened up a brand new copper paint as we just come down, <laughs> yeah, to this down here. I mean, uh, we got some great close-ups, didn't we, mate, of this during yeah. the broadcast, which looks as if the copper was just suspended. Now it's really interesting to see how that has dried. Actually, really kept its shape well, which I'm quite pleased at. Um, some fantastic features you can just see, can't you? The way the lights kind of reacting here. How thick the paint is yeah. in some places. Yeah. Yeah, just there, look. Yeah, you can see that, can't you, on that on that edge. Yeah, so still a little bit soft, in. I think. Yeah. Um, so that's very, very cool. Let's just angle that up a bit so you can see it. Yeah. One little blob here, look. Oh yeah. One single blob <laughs> the lone blob. The lone blob. But actually yeah. we've got a, a lot of this kind of uh, feathering going on where it's very yes. thin in places. Yeah. So just here. get this little, yeah. Little and this, look at this, just this fracture yeah. all the way through. Yeah, I love that. So the copper is definitely, I think, uh, pretty much a standout of, of the whole evening. However, um, <clears throat> you know, as things progressed, we started to be a bit more adventurous with the colours. I think there were about 12 or 13 colours that went into it. Actually, if I glance here over at the bench, look, you can see all of these colours went in at some point. Did you put it. both blues in? Um, yes, I think I did. Yes, because I think it was... One, two, uh, three, yeah, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen colours. You wouldn't fifteen think colours. that, would you? Just looking at that. So, so I think yeah. there was a debate on the on the stream about how many colours actually yeah, went in. Yeah, th was there? I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, because somebody was saying, was that including black and white? Ah, uh, yeah. Now, look, I've just seen that, that kind of peppering finish in the middle. Yeah. Um, now, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't something I noticed as the broadcast started to finish, if that makes sense. I think um, there has been a little bit of change, but definitely the, the gloss sort of has eased off. Yes, I'm actually really pleased about that. But there was a mixture of some gloss and semi-gloss paints in here. So as they've mixed with each other, of course, this is what has happened. There's this, oh, I could just sit and look at this all day long. Now, one of the bones of contention was the use of lime. If I zoom out a bit here, just in that area, and we ran a poll uh, to see whether it all wanted to have lime in it. Uh, well, I think about 65% was, yeah, it was uh, in yeah, favour of yes. Yeah, so 67. In, in went the lime, and I'm very pleased to say that's given us a real just nice little yeah, it doesn't, focal point. No, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not strong, it's not standing right out. Yeah, I really like that. Really like that. I had a bit of a, a play off air with a few little uh, things here and there. We were just dotting my fingers into the canvas uh, just to make sure that there wasn't any exposed weave underneath. Uh, particularly like this corner, actually, we've gone quite heavy on the copper, um, and that's linking into uh, the turquoise. Do you know what I like about that? Yeah. See this one here? It looks like it's got no earthly reason being there, <laughs> and and yet it is, and it's smooth. So it's, it's under there. Like I say, I don't want to push too hard because yeah. it's still a little bit. But it just, it, it's on top of everything else. It's like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> here I am. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, so this is where we brought the lighter blue out. You were just mentioning that when we were counting the colours up. Uh, the particular highlight is this bit over here for me. And it's very, very subtle because we've got uh, the odd bit of uh, the mix of, of green and turquoise coming over into this purple and white. 
and blue, but we've got some fabulous shapes going on. Um, love that. Reminds me of things like you might find in the great oceans. I don't know why. Uh, that's another good, good view of some of the textures. Let's see if I can run my finger. So we're looking at this edge here, look, as I move around there. You can just see that build of a paint. It's almost like it's just stopped. Uh, and then you can see a low point on the canvas and then the high point. So hopefully that will illustrate the volumes of paint that are on here in some areas. Uh, we had a comment as well saying, oh, isn't, isn't just purple and that copper gorgeous on its own? Well, yeah, I mean, you can see why, can't you? I think I should do maybe just purple, a couple of purple, some copper, and maybe some black and some white as a single piece at some point, because I'm sure that would look pretty epic. And they are a fantastic, real classic colour hey, scheme. Look at just this. those couple of colours. What's this? Oh, yeah. What is, is that, that? Is that a bit of, uh, bit of the canvas weave? Just I'm not sure, actually. It's odd. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, mate. <laughs> Something's got on it. So it's somebody's <laughs> signature, isn't it? Like, yeah. Or 7P. Does that 7P. say 7P? 7P came in here overnight yeah. and signed it. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> oh, look, look what the copper's doing with the blue as well. Isn't that nice? Yeah. We haven't broken the copper out for quite some time. And I'm, I'm very, very glad that we did because there's some truly uh, epic things happening where the copper is. Going back from the other side then, look at that peppering. Absolutely love that. I'm trying to keep the camera as and what's, still as I can. What else have you found? I don't recall that? seeing this. What's that? Ah, well. Some kind of strange... There you go, look. Mm. Yeah, where white meets black. So we've got a kind of like a smokiness going on there as well. I did worry about the inclusion of the, of the red, but the red's just really nice and subtle around the base there. Uh, and the orange, well, you know, I feel about orange. That's come out really nice. Not too dominant as well. We haven't got too much of the whole peach thing going on, which I was worried about where it met the white. Yeah. Um, so thankfully, we've avoided the whole pastel nature of orange meets white. I think that, though... Yeah, is that your favourite bit, is it? Yeah, I, uh, I do like that, even though you know me with purple. I do yeah. like... And I, I certainly like the lilac here. I love you, this. Yeah, I know, I know. This area here, yeah. definitely. Yeah. See, I like, I like this bit over here. Um, oh. What? Yeah, with the pink and the purple and... Oh, yeah, that that to me is a painting on its own. I'd quite happily see that any day of the week. Um, maybe that's an experiment we'll have to try yeah. is, is to try and produce this yeah. across a larger. Just maybe that colour scheme on its own. Yeah, and see, see what we can get. But I, I definitely think that copper is going to start and feature. It's very much an autumny thing, isn't it? To me, you know, we get copper on trees, don't we? And all this kind of stuff happening, and you know, in nuts and horse chestnuts and acorns falling from trees, and you get all these wonderful tones going on with that as well. So I absolutely, I absolutely love that. Let's look at it from uh, from a wide angle now. There we go. And we were saying, weren't we, on the way out, mate? That it's, it's one of these that you could, you know, you, if you were to walk into somewhere and see it, it just be, it's just kind of this mass, and you just see it as a swell of colour. And yet, the real majesty of it is when you get right up close to it. And I think, folks, as we've just seen now, uh, there are literally endless details you could pick out of that for years and years and years. All right. Well, let's just lift it a little bit. Right, that's good. So we've unstuck it. There we go. So what about if I were to... Yeah. Oh, do you want to lift it? No, I want to rotate it. Oh, okay. Oh, controversial. And then I'm going to lift. Oh, okay. Ready? Yeah, do it. Oh, nice, mate. Oh, that is so much better lifted up. Oh, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. Right, I'm going to put it down. Okay, yeah, no problem. Brilliant. Right, folks. And there we jolly well go. And you can see home. <laughs> oh, dear. It's not quite dry, is it? <laughs> OK, well, we're going to leave that to continue to dry. We well, hope you've enjoyed that. Please just let us know uh, down in the comments uh, what you think about that. And uh, just leaves us to say have a great weekend and we'll see you for the next live stream.